Hi there, I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. Welcome to my kitchen. And in honor of all of you staying at home, I thought that this week would be a great time to offer some healthy and alternative meals that could serve your family well, as well as your health, and do it on a budget. Hi there, welcome, thanks for being here. And um, we are making today a coconut lentil sweet potato curry and it can be served on rice it could be served on quinoa or if you add a little bit more liquid you could use it as a soup and, or you know without the rice but the quinoa or rice is something to add more carbohydrates to make it more filling for your family and stretch your budget a little bit more so we're going to get started and uh, just a little bit about me. I've been cooking <laughs> for a very long time. Um, I have uh, served my family well. I cooked every single day. We hardly ever ate out. And the reason being is that I was raised that way, that we cooked for our family. Uh, my parents were from, you know, middle class people. They went through the depression. We always had a vegetable garden. And what I will tell you from everything that I have learned through living this long and my mother being 98 in July is that the more vegetables we eat and the less meat we eat, the better quality of life, the slimmer we are, the healthier we are. Not to mention, it's also good for the planet. Now, I live in a great place where across my lane, um, there are oranges. I can go pick them from the tree. I don't have to buy them at the store. I get avocados <laughs> fresh from the trees. My neighbors give them to me. Um, and so in, in this way, being able to pick from the orchard, it makes it so much easier to have fresh vegetables and fruits. And so you can grow these things in your backyard. Maybe not oranges and avocados, but you can grow vegetables this summer. I highly recommend that you do. I also had a landscape business. That's something that you may not have known about me called For Heaven Scapes. I am a Georgia master gardener and I had a landscape business where I did everything from <laughs> planting trees to sod to hardscapes and doing design work. So um, here's the thing is that the, the more things that we can learn, the more valuable we are to society, the more uh, things that we can teach the people that are around us, whether it's our kids, our grandkids. What a great legacy to leave behind. Okay, so now um, what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to peel some ginger. I'm going to move you guys a little bit with me here. Okay, so normally um, I would make a veggie broth and I didn't have time to do that today, but I'll tell you, because I missed doing that on Monday. How do you make homemade vegetable broth? It's very simple. You take an onion and you can, you know, this is a, a big white onion, about, you know, maybe just about a pound, 80 cents worth. You slice off about a half of it, chop it up, throw it in a pan, saute it in, coconut oil or olive oil or avocado oil, a couple of sticks of celery, and a carrot. You could throw in a potato if you want. And then about four or five cups of water and boil the heck out of it. And then you strain the liquid and you can, you could eat the vegetables or give them to the chickens. That's what I do. I can, the chickens eat those cooked vegetables. They love them. And, and then you have this really delicious broth for very little money. And so uh, today I'm not doing that. Uh, however, I usually do. So we're gonna do a little bit of ginger grating here. Let's see where. Okay, I've already chopped my onion now. So I'll tell you the, the recipe. So if you wanna write it down, I'll go over this recipe. This is from Detoxinista. And it is a website, it's detoxinista.com. This is vegan lentil sweet potato curry. That's what it is. So I will just go over this recipe. It's one and a half tablespoons coconut oil. And coconut oil is great for your face. 
Um, it is the one of the healthiest fats that we can possibly eat. I want to just tell you a little bit about the history of coconut oil because there was a time when the AMA, American Medical Association, said coconut oil was bad for us. They also said avocados, bad. Now, what have we learned over the last 20 years? Those things are false. So we all need to learn how to use our inner voice, our inner guidance, our discernment. And this is what I learned. I mean, I used it many, many years ago when the, when the AMA was saying avocados bad, coconut bad. I was like, how can something that grows on a tree be bad for you? Not possible. So I never stopped eating avocados. I never stopped eating coconut or coconut oil. As a matter of fact, uh, there were a lot of things that the AMA has said that I don't listen to. So we all, there are some things that are valid, but grains, as we've learned, are not great for us, especially since they've been genetically modified. So use discernment. So we're going to be using some coconut oil. I'm going to just grab, this is about two tablespoons. You're going to learn from me that I don't measure much. I have been cooking for such a long time. I might make a recipe one time uh, the way, it, the way it's, it is written. And then after that, I just wing it. And I, you know, when you're cooking a long time, you know what works and what doesn't. So, so coconut oil, when it's cool, is going to be solid. And as the weather warms up, it, it becomes uh, more liquid. And coconut oil, I'm going to tell you this, this is awesome. It will help you lose weight. It is, um, let's see, what is it? Antifungal, antibacterial, um, and so it's it's really great. Love it. We're we're going to be using rainbow lentils, and let's see, I'm going to. I've got chopped onions, so I'm going to throw a cup of chopped onions into the pot here. And I'm just going to start this thing on low, wrong one. So you won't be able to see that, but you'll be able to hear it in a few minutes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is measure my lentils, one cup, and I'm going to wash them off. These are really pretty. They're all different colors, and so it's going to make a, a really pretty curry. So I'm going to throw them into my strainer. Whoops, some of them are really little and went right through. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the recipe. So I'm just rinsing these to make sure that they're all nice and clean. And they are. Okay, so back to the recipe. One and a half tablespoons coconut oil. Uh, one cup diced onion. One cup dried red lentils. I'm using a mixed mixed color lentil blend, one medium sweet potato. So what's a sweet potato? Well, sweet potatoes can sometimes be red. They could be lighter than this. I, this is a one of my favorites. They taste uh, very nice and very uh, sweet and uh, diabetics actually can benefit from these. They're loaded with fiber and vitamin A. It's like 130% of the vitamin A you need in a day. And let's see, so I've got a carrot. We're gonna have chopped uh, sweet potato in here. And uh, so I've peeled my carrot already, cutting off the ends. And you can hear that sizzling. I'm gonna cut it into thirds. And I like my carrots nice and uh, kind of square. So I am chopping these up. You can leave them chunky if you wish, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna have them small. Now I could have done all of this in advance, but I thought that maybe you'd wanna see how do I do this. So I'm doing it in front of the camera. All right, so while we're chopping up these vegetables, I just wanna to talk to you a little bit about what's going on in the world and why am I doing these cooking shows? Well, I am doing the cooking shows because as a healer, as a channel and a coach, I can sense the fear on the planet and I feel like everybody needs more connection, not less. 
So I'm wanting to connect with you more. I want to be available so that you can see that I'm calm. I'm living my life. I'm not freaking out. Um, this too shall pass and there will be something to gain. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Somebody just unsubscribed from my newsletter list. Okay, so I will tell you the truth. I'm not for everyone. Uh, but I will tell you a little bit about me. What sets me apart from other coaches and healers? Back in 2012, I became enlightened. What does that mean? I have not felt lonely, lost, or broken since that time. I don't miss anyone. My daughter <laughs> doesn't like to hear that. I love my kids, but I, I don't feel lonely because I have this permanent connection with the divine inside me. And so uh, I am a channel. I am also an empath. I feel what my, my clients feel. And I'm also a healer. Um, I healed, <clears throat> healed breast cancer and I've healed um, skin cancer on my nose in 24 hours. And uh, let's see, I help people overcome anxiety, depression, suicidal ideation. So I am taking this sweet potato It's very dense and I'm going to cut this into bigger chunks so we've got the carrots are chopped up pretty fine but I'm going to just show you what they look like carrots chopped do you see I'm going to just throw those into the pan so I don't lose them okay now for those of you that are not vegan you can use chicken broth if you wish. You could use a veggie broth. You could use plain water. But if you use a vegetable broth or a chicken broth, you're going to find your uh, curry tastes a lot, a lot better. It's a better flavor. So I'm going to add, what is the liquid? Three and a half cups of <clears throat> a vegetable broth. So I'm putting in three and a half cups. There's one. Stop the sizzle. Two. Three. All right, so we've got three and a half cups of liquid in there. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're also going to be putting um, coconut milk in it. Oh, look, my daughter's there. Hi, Ariel. <laughs> Hi, honey. I love you. So this is not my favorite coconut milk, uh, but it was all I could find. So, you know, coconut milk, I prefer one that has the high fat, all the coconut fat in it. <laughs> Hi, honey. <laughs> And so we're going to be putting the coconut milk in at the very end. <laughs> oh, look, it's old home week, everybody. Okay, so carrots, sweet potatoes. Okay, so the carrots are in. I'm cutting up the sweet potatoes. And I'm leaving them in fairly big chunks. Okay, and once this is cooked, if you have leftovers, it'll, it'll last for about three days in your fridge. So this is the size that I'm leaving the sweet potatoes. I'm going to throw those in, and, and then I am also going to throw in my freshly washed lentils that you see here. Of course, they're sticking to my, <laughs> they're sticking to my strainer. They started to grow when I got them all wet. Oh, and I did start, I want to just mention, I, I did start with clean hands. I put my hair up before and washed my hands after. Okay. Okay, so we've got that all together. I'm going to just give it a little stir. I'm going to back you all up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to just see if I can show this to you. All right. Can you see my pot? Just don't fall in. Don't pop fall in the pot, though. Okay, everybody. Can you see that? 
I don't know if you can. I don't know. Oh, is that better? No. So that's, there's the sweet potato stew. And now we're gonna add the spices. This is the exciting part. And I happen to like, <laughs> oh, my daughter. You're so funny, Ariel. Okay, so, so what I've got in here right now is the broth, the carrots, sweet potatoes, and the onions. And we're gonna bring it to a boil. So I'm gonna crank up the heat a little bit. All right, so now for the spices. All right, where's my measuring spoon? Okay, so the, a tablespoon of mild curry powder, half a teaspoon of ground turmeric. You can see I use a lot of this. So what's the great thing about turmeric? It is great for anti-inflammation. It is great if you've got um, rheumatoid arthritis, if you have any kind of inflammation in the body, fabulous. And so I have used a lot of it. When I was living in Santa Clarita, there was a great Indian um, market and I would buy, buy it there. So it's half a teaspoon. So I am just, it's about, about that much. So turmeric. Oh, and I'm using red pepper flakes because I like, I like it spicy, hot. Um, sea salt, I'm using Himalayan salt. Oh yeah, and ginger. So it calls for ginger powder, but I'm using fresh ginger. I would much rather use fresh ingredients rather than dried when it comes to um, ginger and garlic. I'm also gonna add one clove of garlic. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I am adding it. Garlic is really good to boost the immune system, and you know, we all need that right now. You want to make sure that you're not buying your garlic from China. Um, okay, I also, whoops, hello, what are you doing? You're, what are you doing over there? <laughs> Where'd you go? I use uh, garam masala, which it's an Indian spice. I happen to really like it. I'm just gonna throw a few red pepper flakes in there. I'm just gonna, you know, just a little. And, and you can put whatever you like. I, I added a little bit more. And then the curry powder, what did I say? One tablespoon curry powder. All right, so now the, when I've made this for a group, I have doubled and tripled the recipe and used a whole pound of lentils, but I am making a small quantity because I already have other things in my fridge and I don't wanna waste. I throw a little bit of this garam marsala in, but if you can't find it, you don't need it. it. It's not actually in the recipe, I'm adding extra. Okay, so what did I put in as spices? Red pepper flakes garam marsala, mild curry powder, turmeric, and then the, the last thing is Himalayan salt. So I'm just gonna give it a couple of turns here. And that is it, except for the coconut milk, which I will put in when it's already done. So this is gonna boil for about 30 minutes. The lentils will plump up. They, they get soft and kind of a meaty. So you can test it in 30 minutes. And if the lentils are nice and soft, then you know it's done. Okay. You can also add fresh ground black pepper. And actually uh, pepper is something that you want to put in when you're using turmeric because it activates the turmeric. Without the pepper, the, the turmeric's not activated. So I'm gonna grate this ginger right into the pot. I don't know if you can see me. I'm gonna turn you. Where's my assistant? 
Okay, so if you have any questions, ask away. Now tomorrow I am going to do a meditation instead of a cooking show. So we'll shift it up a little bit. And um, actually that's it. So the curry is, except for the cooking, it is done. Very simple. What did that take me? Five minutes? Okay, so what's really important at this time is to stay in touch with your family, to stay in touch with your friends. So make sure that you're making phone calls and not just texting. It's more important now than ever before to connect with people by phone, if you can, on camera, when you can see each other's faces, you could do a Zoom call, you could do a Facebook Live call, you know, just, just connect with your family. We can't travel right now. My mother's in Canada. I can't go to Canada to visit her because I could possibly bring the virus to her and I don't want to do that. So while we are stuck at home, don't think of it as being stuck. Think of it as a great gift. What's the greatest gift of all? time, having time to do the things that you haven't been able to do. Maybe it's time to write your book. Maybe it's time to meditate. So I'll be teaching you how to meditate tomorrow. Oh, Ariel's going to call me. <laughs> I will be glad to get a phone call from you. Okay, my, my um, curry is now boiling and it's starting to smell delicious. So, uh, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I have a free download on my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com, that an Ariel can attest to this. It eliminates worry and anxiety. So if you go to my website, jenniferelizabethmasters.com, I have a free download, worry, uh, what is it? Transmuting worry, it's nine minutes. It put Ariel to sleep when she came to visit me when I was in Colorado, and she can, she, can, <laughs> she can tell you, it calmed her right down, and she was feeling a lot of anxiety. So sending you lots of love today. I hope this was fun for you. It was for me. Thanks for being here. Mwah! I love you. Thanks for watching.